This is Trailers from Hell, and I'm Josh Olson, and we're gonna take a very bumpy ride down the road with a movie that should have been a smash hit, but wasn't. Uh, thanks to a big hairy alien, some talking robots, and a wide-eyed farm boy named Luke Skywalker. This is William Friedkin's Sorcerer. In 1977, there probably weren't a lot of directors in Hollywood who were much hotter than William Friedkin. Uh, as they tell you right here. Uh, he'd made The French Connection, followed by The Exorcist, both of which had been phenomenal hits. And he followed those up with a film that, I'm sorry, beat me, sue me, you can send in all the hate mail you want, I think it's his best. Sorcerer is a remake of Henri Georges Clouseau's excellent thriller from 1953, which is called The Wages of Fear. This is one of the few remakes that uh, is at least the equal of the original. It's about a group of uh, desperate, dispossessed men who are all trapped uh, in South America, hiding out from the law, who get a chance at getting out and making some money by transporting truckloads of unstable nitroglycerin across some of the nastiest, roughest terrain you've ever seen in your life. It's got a wonderful tone to it and uh, a real sense of dread and desperation. Friedkin originally offered the lead to Steve McQueen, who loved the script but turned it down because uh, he didn't want to leave uh, Ali McGraw behind in the States. He asked Friedkin if maybe she could become a producer on the film. Friedkin said no, and McQueen passed. Friedkin since said that uh, he's regretted that. And I gotta say, I, I love Steve McQueen to death, and he would have been absolutely great in the film, and it certainly would have helped the box office. But Roy Scheider is, is stellar in this film. He was uh, pretty hot off the uh, success of Jaws. And he's, you know, his tough kind of no-nonsense, rugged, earthy quality just really works for his character. Sorcerer is freaking at the top of his game. It's tight, it's suspenseful, every scene just grabs you by the collar and it's beautifully shot. Um, you can feel the humidity down there in South America. You can, you can feel the sweat on the sticks of dynamite. The powerful score is by the German group Tangerine Dream. That score has actually been used in several other trailers, including the one for the Warriors. The only place where Sorcerer really failed was that it came out the same time as Star Wars, and the world was just fixated on the Wookiee that week. It's a shame because the movie deserved a huge audience. I like to think that somewhere there's an alternate universe where Sorcerer was a massive game-changing hit in Hollywood, and I'm doing a trailer from Hell commentary on the relatively unknown cult classic Star Wars. In that world, Hollywood spent the next 30 years making smart, edgy movies for grown-ups. The literacy rate is 100%, we haven't been in a war since Vietnam, and world hunger is just a memory. When you do the work and it's not good, you, you do know it. You may not know it at the time, but you can look back and you can see it. But when you're working at the top of your game, it just you know, you do work at such a high caliber and uh, you end up getting hammered the way this film did. I cannot imagine how frustrating it must have been for Friedkin, but it's a great film and worthy of your attention. Sorcerer. Rated PG. Parental guidance suggested.